Hello everybody, George from Beaumont Guitars. And I'm Nick, what's up folks? Today we have something special for you, the extra sparkly MXR FOD drive, the FOD, the tons of other nicknames that we've heard. Effin Overdrive. Absolutely. Um, this thing is actually pretty cool. So what it's basically kind of doing is a couple different amps blended into one you can kind of mix and match with the blend knob. Uh, I don't want to give away like what I think some of the amps are, but we'll say anything from like a modern. Well, let's, let's save that till the end. Maybe okay, we'll, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about what we think and we'll get your answers too. Uh, because there is a big mystery involved. Absolutely. MXR hasn't revealed any spe uh, specifics, but they dropped little hints. Uh, let's talk about what we're using today. We're using Nick's uh, Strat. Uh, antiquity, fat 50s in the neck in the middle, um, and then the amp, George. Fillmore 25, um, we've been basically using this for all the videos. Right now, today, we have it set up uh, clean. Basically, all the EQ is at uh, 12 o'clock, and uh, that's our base tone that we're stacking the uh, FOD onto. So here is just the amp. Nice and clean. Well, Very nice. Crisp. Decently clean. Uh, and this is the FOD or FOD or whatever you want to call it. Uh, everything is at 12 o'clock. And the there's a dip switch in the middle. Yes, um, for the tone. It's also up at the top, which is a flat mid-range response. Yeah. So here it is, engaged. And with volume, that would help. So definitely puts a little something into the mix there. Absolutely. Um, so let's let's go ahead and we'll talk about each knob and what the knobs do. So um, output, George, what does output do? Uh, output is basically your overall output. Uh, we tried not to hit the front of the amp too, too crazy hard. So right now we're about 12 o'clock on that. Um, then we also have blend, which is below that. So blend, the way we kind of perceive it is you're going from that one tone all the way to the left side, and as you take it over, it's blending in the sound of the other amp. That's uh, basically that this is kind of based off of. Yeah. So for those of you maybe familiar with the Dookie yes. pedal by MXR, that was, what, two different Marshalls, yes, right? Yes, that was two different Marshalls, Pete and Meat, which was a... Uh, you know, held with the blend knob as well. And I think one of the main differences is that the middle of this kind of has, like you were talking about that uh, scoop or that mid bump, which the Dookie one has the scoop button. So already this is kind of giving you a little bit more versatility in the fact that you're still blending two different amps, but now, you know, you also have that, that notch that you can select, which by the way, which you will see later, in the uh, middle position where it's mid bumped, it gets loud. <laughs> For sure. For Pretty sure. loud. Um, so, I, you know, that blend knob, like we were talking about earlier, this, when you go to MXR's website and you read about this pedal, like they really don't tell you much, Love right? Um, however, they do say that they got their hands on two legendary modified amps, one of which was modified for a, a mid scoop and very high gain. Um, and the other was modified for like a mid bump and uh, not so high gain, but more like clarity. Mm -hmm. um, so the blend knob, when you're all the way to the left is the, so when you're going down to zero or whatever. I would whatever, say that's the one that's the less gain, I would that's, say. That's the less gain, that's the mid bump. Yeah. Uh, when you turn it up all the way, that is the mid scoop. Mm -hmm. and the more gain. Absolutely, and you will hear the difference, absolutely. And then that blend knob allows you to mix those two amps in many different permutations. Um, and then, so you have output knob, you have the blend knob, uh, you have gain, which I think is pretty Yes, yeah, we all know what gain means. And then it's just basically you're... like less fun all the way down and then uh, more fun all the way up. That's a great way to describe it. Uh, and then finally you have tone which usually on overdrive pedals, like I'm not a fan of tone knobs. Yeah. 
this comes in handy. Yeah, and sometimes on certain other pedals, they don't do too much. Yes. From one position to the next, but this you will hear definitely has an effect. Yeah, this this comes in handy, especially with that mid bump side of the of the pedal. Um, it, it allows you to kind of not as much bump that mid, which yeah. you'll you'll hear how it, that can really help you. It's out. almost as if you have like an EQ or something like that you can yeah. throw over it. Um, so real quickly, let's do the let's do the dip switch in the middle first. Let's hear it. Uh, so this is just the flat response. Yeah, I'll let you play in the flat, and then I'll switch it over. Now this is this is middle, mid which is bump. bump. So this is the mid range is elevated. Now we'll do the scoop. Huge volume difference. Yeah. Uh, so and and everything is different. The volume level, the tone, like that that diff switch does a whole bunch. Now here is where the the tone knob comes into play, right? So for me and my taste, this is mid bump, right? It's a little tinny. It's very nasally. Now, if I take this tone knob and I roll off the tone a little bit. That is a little bit more palatable. It takes me. away some of that harshness that you're yeah. hearing in the other sound. Now, if we, you know, roll the tone all the way in, you know, uh, headphone users beware. Wow. Yeah, very trebly. Very metallic. Yeah. In not yeah. a good way. And you know, that that definitely has its place. Um, you know, if, if you wanted to do the mid bump and turn the gain up, you know, you could definitely. If you're recording and you wanted to layer guitars, have it sound different, or you're trying to add a solo, and you just need it to like really, really pierce. You know, even, and I'm gonna butcher this, intentionally, wink, wink. Um, you know, you get a. It, it sounds pretty good. It, it gives you that like very- It's almost like, like violin-y. It gives you that treble boost thing that, that Brian May would do. Um, that's there. Now, you know, for me, I, I don't like that. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little, Ice picky. Yeah. For it, my it, taste too. My my brain wouldn't last long if I had to play that forever. Um, luckily, you don't have to. So uh, let's go back to the flat. Um, we'll put the gain back at 12 o'clock and let's just let's let's mess around with that blend. Yeah, knob. let's hear what it would sound like from all the way one side to the other. So if I'm not mistaken, this should be the less gain, more clarity amp. So yeah, definitely less gain, very clear. Now, Add a little more to that. So this is uh, just a little bit more what, a with little, the blend. Okay. So we're adding a little bit more of the gain into it. Now let's go halfway. completely changes. It's just you're playing a whole different amp almost. Yeah, you can hear the low end come back in. It yeah. kind of, instead of it being a hump, gets more flat. Um, that's a that's a, a very accessible and usable tone. Absolutely. For sure. I mean, so is the all the way down. Uh, but now here's the other end of the spectrum, which is the high gain, scooped kind of thing. So. Uh, <laughs> That was garbage, but. It's natural sounding though. It, it's not, at least to me, from yeah. here. Uh, the clarity went away. 
I, I noticed the individual notes kind of got lost a little bit in the gain, but that's okay. Um, now, let's kind of do the extremes here. So this is the high gain saturated scoop. Let's turn the gain up to a respectable amount. I'm excited to hear this. Um, and so this is what the metal side would sound like, right? <laughs> some chunk to it. Now let's add the scoop switch. Oh man. So scoop and scoop, scoop a loop. Man, that sounds really good. Um, it definitely has a little fuzziness to it. Oh yeah. Um, almost like that orange amp kind of fuzz. Um, not like a fuzz pedal fuzz, uh, if, if that makes any sense to anyone. Um, but let's, let's go nuts. Max out the gain. And now let's blend the two amps. I think that's more usable. Yeah. And let's take out the scoop and just flat response for the switch. That sounds pretty good too. Let's hear what it sounds like with the output raised a little bit. Or let's see, I don't know if it's gonna hit the front end like crazy hard. if it's just me but now it's almost like I could hear like the clean guitar kind of like underneath it yeah I don't I don't disagree with you that, right that you definitely clearer. can hear something yeah um, what I was doing earlier which I liked uh, you know kind of hitting it hard but then backing off on the guitar itself and just kind of That was, that was interesting, right? It definitely does. Cleans up well. So definitely has that lower overdrive sort of a little bit past breakup. Um, classic rock kind of tone. Oh, absolutely. I hear like ACDC in there and like, yeah. yeah. Um, does the stoner thing, stoner rock. I think that does it pretty cool. Um, gets a little fuzzy, gets a little hairy. The blend knob, right, you have, I don't want to say infinite because mathematically that's not true. You have a lot of variations in tones you can use. Absolutely. And I, I think the dip switch is probably one of the more powerful controls changes you know your whole base of what's happening yeah so i guess here's here's the question of the day right what amps does this pedal recreate yes i would like to so ask george, the viewers george, george is the amp guy so george what's what's your opinion uh i'm kind of hearing well on the dookie pedal i was hearing something a little different but this is kind of like maybe fender ish kind of break up to the left and as you go to the right maybe like a, a Marshall plexi of some sort that's been modified you, you definitely hear that in like the harshness of like the breakup yeah uh, at least that's what I think I remember you were saying that some kind of rectifier was also mentioned somewhere else uh, I would like to know what those two amps are yeah. but they were not very descriptive on the website at all no um, <laughs> very mysterious you know they, so they use a lot of like keywords and they're very selective with the words they use right so they use the word coveted mm -hmm. they use legendary um, which I think Dumble right away I'm so thinking, yes so those words yeah. are, are usually associated with Dumble because they're coveted you you and me and George we will never even see a Dumble 
We will never touch a Dumble. We will never play a Dumble. I've seen one. Never Couldn't touch it. <laughs> couldn't play it, but I've seen it. It's like many of the women we run into in our lives. You know, like, yeah. we can see them. <laughs> but but no, touch no them. touch it. <laughs> um, so, you know, th- th- those words are typically used when you're talking about Dumble. Yeah. And I think lately there's been, there's been a, a pretty good amount of products that are like, Dumble-esque oh, clones. kind of oh, clones. They're, they're everywhere. So I think this might be MXR's like foray into that world yeah. of, you know, that boutique sound pedal. Their attempt. A lot of the Dumble clones that I've played have like such a harsh like top end. You know what yeah. I mean? It's almost like it just comes at you in like an ice picky kind of way, which... So to some extent, the way you had it set one way, I would say that that would describe it. Yeah. Um, but this is this is great too because for the value, a lot of those other Dumbo clones, they're two hundred and twenty dollar plus pedals. Some even two fifty to three hundred dollars. Yeah. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this. Um, I would also say that the FOD and the Dookie are like kind of close. Yeah, I think. Well, not I think. Factually, MXR has had a lot of success with that Dookie pedal. Oh, absolutely. I own one as well. And, you know, they've had, what, they're on like the third variant now? Yeah, V3, yep. Right? Um, so clearly they, they've, they've hit a point in the market where people are like, oh, this has two amps in one pedal and I can blend them. I'm going to cough. <coughs> Sorry, I had a feather in my throat. <clears> throat> uh, so they hit a point where you know they're like their fan base and their users are super interested in having two pedals they can blend. That's right. So MXR probably said, you know, let's give them more of what they want and let's try with two different amps. And let's take the, the Green Day aspect yeah. away and let's see if we can market it to more people. And I think, you know, on top of that, the Green Day one, like we said earlier, was two different Marshalls. Yeah. So it's similar tones. This one in our in our ears, you know, was more of a American, you know, American clean that was pushed a little bit on one side, yeah. and then more of a British high gain to the other. To the yeah. other, so two totally different amps. You get to blend them, and that's not, you know, that's not uncommon. Um, a lot of guys and girls and professionals, and you know, they use two amps. And they're, and they're usually two very expensive amps. Yeah, because you can't get one amp to do everything, unfortunately. You can't, right? So, hard. and another cool thing is, you know, using that high gain amp with a with a cleaner amp to get more of that clarity. Absolutely. Um, more so articulation. Do yourself a favor. Don't buy a second amp, or don't buy two amps. Just get one FOD. And by then MXR. you could you could cover so many different. Uh, variations of tone with this thing uh, again that that middle dip switch too is is pretty powerful you get a huge volume difference uh when you're going from like flat response to to mid bump yeah um so yeah so that is the fod or fod or fn overdrive or whatever mxr decides they're going to call it mxr fod uh also did we mention i know we did but we're going to say it again uh very sparkly paint oh job. yeah Reminds me of like the Stephen Carpenter guitar. Yeah, it got a lot of flake in it. Oh yeah, let us know by the way in the comments what you think the amps are that it's trying to mimic or sound like. Uh, please like, subscribe. Comment. Yep. Also, uh, this is available, BeaumontGuitars.com. Absolutely. Check us out, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, the internet. Call us, whatever you wanna do, get in touch with us. Yeah, and if you're on Reddit, we are going to go public as a stock soon. So if you want to blow it up, do that. Help us out. All right, guys. Uh, George, it's been a blast. And we'll see you guys in the next as video. As always, take care.